Thank you so much. It's such an honor. Oh. Yeah. That's sweet. Yeah, so like we were saying, we were watching the movie Dream Master yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to ask you about that scene where it was a scene where you were at the beach. Right. Yeah, and then um, you see the little girl, and then you see, I believe, um, the claws uh -huh. in the water that's kind of like a shark. Right. And then he goes through the sand. Yes. And then he chases you, and then he pushes you down into the sand. It looks like it's kind of like quicksand, uh -huh. and you're kind of like drowning. Right. How was it filming that scene? I know that seems well, kind of challenging. Um, it was, um, it was kind of difficult because, um, Going down under the sand yeah, like that yeah. uh, really gets in your eyes and stuff. So they gave me a pair of uh, goggles to wear, but it still like got in my eye and really hurt my eyes. So we had to have a girl do it for me. Okay. So when you're seeing the girl go underneath, it was another. It was like my stunt double. I oh, was nice. like, no way, I'm not going under there again. <laughs> I know that that seemed really crazy. Yeah. And then I also I was reading in an article that Robert England said it's his favorite scene. Uh -huh. No franchise. Yeah. He's like it has that dreamlike sequence. Right. So and I love his glasses. Oh yeah, that's he's like the, he's got the Ray Bans on and everything. Yeah, that's so badass. And we see a lot of memes like that also with the with the shades. Yeah. Yeah. How? I actually um, I signed like a thousand pairs of glasses um, a couple, like about a couple years ago. So it was it was fun because it was you know representing that scene. So, oh yeah. yeah. How was your experience working with Robert England? Uh, he's great. like a boogeyman, you know, the '80s, like. Yeah, he was. He was great. He was great. I loved him. Yeah, he was awesome. That's good. Yeah, very giving and generous actor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know it was at that time, Dream Master. It was everything was like, from Freddie Mania or whatever. It was like on the rise. Oh yeah, I mean, well, that one was uh, the most successful one. Yeah. Yeah, it really, it like made the most money. It was, um, you know, it was really uh, respected, which was really good. That's good, yeah. Yeah, none of us really knew that was gonna happen. You know, I mean, we just thought we were gonna do this like little horror film, and it just became this franchise. It was great. That film, uh, I love it a lot. I've been watching the movie since I was like seven, wow. and it was like I feel like Dream Master is very underrated. It's really? such a good movie. You know, I don't know. Somebody else said that today, and I was thinking about that. Um, I, I didn't think it was so underrated yeah. I, because I think I was in the middle of the, you know, of the uh, tornado. Yeah. Of it. So I think yeah. um, I don't know. Maybe it was. Yeah. I don't know. I see it's that like, from a good point though, because oh, yeah, yeah. I was born in the '90s. Like, oh yeah, of course. Like I was in, you know. Yeah. And it's like it's such a good movie. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate this a of lot. Course.